this is Wade from High Tech Legion and what we are looking at here is the UEFI BIOS for the Gigabyte Z77X UD4H motherboard. It's a standard ATX motherboard with supporting the LGA1155 socket and has Gigabyte 3D BIOS on board. The first screen we get into is um, shows us a little information on the board. Some quick information with the BIOS version, CPU frequencies, memory size, temperature, and some voltage. And we can enter the 3D mode by pressing F1 at any time. Uh, in 3D mode, you can click on any section to bring up the uh, menu that relates to that. Uh, you also see that we've got information here on the right that pops up. So here you can change the memory frequency, CPU clock, and everything like that, and your memory, extreme memory profile, uh, your memory timings, and voltage as well. So let's go back to the main um, advanced settings with by pressing F1 again. Uh, the, you can click on this MIT current status here and get a little bit more information on your your CPU and your memory. So this actually shows information for all four cores as well as information for all four memory channels and your timings that for each of those memory channels as well. Uh, the BIOS is fully mouse enabled and you can also navigate it using your keyboard if you prefer that. You've got F5 to change back to previous values. Uh, F7 will allow you to load the optimized defaults for the board so it'll go back to the defaults that Gigabyte set to start with. And F8 is QFlash. So QFlash allows you to flash the BIOS from a USB stick if necessary. And F9 will show you your system information. F10 saves and exits and F12 will allow you to do a print screen of the BIOS and save it to a flash drive. Under advanced frequency settings here you can change the CPU settings as well as uh, memory extreme profile here similar to what we saw in the 3D BIOS and under advanced memory settings same thing you get the uh, memory profile here and performance enhancement as well as specific timing settings for channel A and B. Advanced voltage has your 3D power control modes and so your CPU, your V-Core thermal protection temperature that's uh, before it starts throttling back the processor, your V-Core protection as far as how many millivolts it can set be set to and PWM phase control here. CPU core voltage you can adjust the V core and the VTT and PLL um, voltages in here for doing your overclocking and also voltage control for your memory. PC health status gives you a quick um, another quick overview of voltages and temperatures in the system as well as your CPU fan speeds and also allows you to set warnings for certain um, events and you can reset the tamper switch for the uh, case as well under miscellaneous settings you have your uh, Generation 3 um, slot configurations here and a 3D Mark 01 boost setting um, to enhance the legacy benchmarks with this board. BIOS features gives you your boot options as well as priorities for those boot options by double clicking on them and boot up the number lock state, security options, whether it shows the logo as well as your typical execute disable bit, CPU ID maximum and Intel virtualization technology as well as boot mode selection 
uh, whether it uses UF, UEFI and legacy boot or legacy only or UEFI, UEFI only. You've also got boot options for PXE boot and other um, storage boot option control. You've got your network stack, so you can set the network stack to enable, and this will allow the UEFI BIOS to control the network stack uh, using the hardware. On the peripherals section here, you've got your SATA controllers, whether they're enabled or disabled, your SATA mode selection, which defaults to AHCI, which is what you want it to be at, especially if you're using SSDs, XHCI pre-boot drivers, and the modes for those, as well as your USB 2.0 controller, whether it's on or off, your audio controller, whether it's on or off, your Intel internal graphics, and the memory size for the internal graphics. Your rapid start technology for Intel here, as well as support for USB uh, support for legacy devices, XHCI handoff and EHCI handoff settings um, on this screen here. And under power management, you can set an alarm um, that will resume the system automatically. You've got the high precision event timer setting, which is defaulted to enabled in this case, and inter internal graphics standby mode and internal graphics deep standby mode. The power on by keyboard, so when the keyboard's pressed, if this is enabled, the system will power on. Same thing with the mouse here, and you can set a power on password if this is set to enable. Up in the top right corner here, you've got your language settings as well, and another button to enter Q flash mode, and you can click the save and exit to quickly save the BIOS as well, just like as if you would hit F10 here. So let me just go through the 3D BIOS a little bit more for you quickly. You've got the same save and exit button here, as well as your load defaults, so that would be the F7 uh, load optimized defaults your time and fan control here to set the fan controller on the board to um, run the fans, smart fans, using this Gigabyte smart fan technology to um, run the fans at different different modes basically and then you've got uh, your language setting and your boot devices here using Windows Boot Manager, of course, since I'm using Windows 8. And you can set the boot device priority here simply by dragging them around. Advanced Settings brings us back into the first section that I showed you of the BIOS. And you can see on the 3D BIOS, we've got um, some information here of the top right corner with our clock speed and our uh, memory clock speed as well. Each one of these spots on the board are clickable and they highlight uh, to show you so when we click on it we get the screen with the CPU frequency, memory timings, and voltage and then if we click on the dual BIOS it gives you the BIOS specific um, BIOS specific settings that you can set and then drive control features if you click on the SATA ports uh, if you click on your expansion slots it will give you the initializing display first setting for the slot configurations and then for our 3D power mode you can change the phase control uh, voltages current protection thermal protection settings and under the integrated device control you can turn on or off the audio device onboard LAN and change the settings for the USB controllers as well. And this has been an overview of the UEFI BIOS for the Gigabyte Z77X UD4H motherboard. I hope you enjoyed this video and for the full review please see www.hightechlegion.com and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Take care.